I asked him not to go to his second job. And he said, I won't be gone long. It was the last conversation Catherine Reynolds would have with her son. Curtis Deshaun Reynolds went to his security job downtown and he came home, but he never came inside. And we heard the shots and we ran downstairs, seeing the guys run away. I opened the door, my son went out before I did, but they shot back. The two gunmen ran away. Sean's brother and mother ran to his side. And he said, Sean is breathing funny. But when I got to him, he had taken his last breath. I could hear the person he was talking to on the phone screaming. It's very devastating for me. Catherine Reynolds has lived with the pain of losing Sean for the past two years. She's lived with the pain of not knowing who killed him. Such a nice, easygoing guy, a longtime supervisor for UPS who worked security on the side. Two years of not knowing who would gun him down as he sat in his car on the phone with his girlfriend in his own driveway on Ohio near Fullerton around 1230 in the morning on January 21st. Missing part of me and I'll always be there. I grieve every day. And she has a message for the two men seen running from her home that night. You're the walking dead. You have no heart, no mind, no soul. You have nothing. You're just out there doing the same thing over again. And now Crime Stoppers is offering a $2,500 reward to that anonymous tipster who leads police to an arrest. And Sean Reynolds' little niece is asking you to make that call to find her uncle's killer. Please call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.